Guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. So today I wanted to go over my backlog of PS4 games. Um, specifically, uh, the games that I've owned for a while and uh, just haven't gotten around to yet, but um, I'm amazed because there's even more games out there that I would still like to play, like Spider-Man. I would love to play Spider-Man. Um, I feel kind of silly going and buying it right now because I have so many other games that I'm still working on. Um, but whatever. These are the games that I uh, bought. Some of them I actually bought ahead of time knowing that I wasn't going to be able to play them just because I think that they're such good games and I wanted to support them. So like um, a couple specific, actually all three of these are Sega titles, which I have to say Sega is absolutely slaying it with the PlayStation right now. Um, so I bought Yakuza Kiwami 2, which is Yakuza 2 Remastered, Remade for the PS4. This was originally a PS2 game. Um, I've played Yakuza 0 and Yakuza Kiwami 1. Um, these games, I kind of have to like spread them out a bit um, because they're really long, they're really enveloped, and the stories are awesome, but like... I need a break in between each one because <laughs> it would be a whole lot to play like the exact same style game, but it's freaking awesome. Like the series is so long. I think there are six games um, just in the main story. I think there are some spinoff titles too, but it's just so awesome. It's like basically finding like Metal Gear Solid. Like, like if suddenly I found Metal Gear Solid series and I had never played one before, that's what it's like finding Yakuza now. It's such a great series, and I highly, highly recommend getting into it. I got into it the way that a lot of people did this generation, playing Yakuza 0. Um, that is the one to start with. Do it. That game is freaking great. So in the same vein, I picked up Yakuza 6, which is the newer Yakuza. Uh, it came out earlier this year. By all accounts, I've heard that it's just freaking awesome. It came in a really cool little uh, case. I love that. Um, really excited to get to this one. I am not sure if I'm going to play all of the series in order up to this one, but I really wanted to support Sega and what they're doing. And as you can see, this is a console exclusive. Um, I did not want this game to go under the way by the wayside. Like, I want Sega to continue to bring this kind of stuff out. It's very Japanese, very story-driven, single-player. It's right up my alley. So I bought that game knowing that I was probably going to be playing it down the line. Um, so... Again, another Sega game. We got Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. Um, this game basically is kind of similar to Yakuza from what I hear, but it's got a really amazing art style. Um, I'm super, super excited to play it. You should look up reviews if you haven't seen. It looks freaking awesome. Uh, now, this game, I actually started, um, of course, Spyro. Um, I started it the other night. I played the first one for about four hours. Absolutely had a blast. Got to show it to my wife. It's been put on hold a little bit because I've just been really busy with other stuff. Um, another game that I just started actually last night is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and it is gorgeous so far. And I'm really um, actually getting kind of a Zelda Breath of the Wild feel, slash maybe The Witcher, slash some other things. Um, I've never played an Assassin's Creed game, and I know that... You know, long-time fans are saying this isn't Assassin's Creed anymore. I'm totally fine with that. I don't think Assassin's Creed was up my alley. But Wide Open World RPG uh, is definitely right up my alley. So <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with it. I love um, the way that the world is so open to you. Um, the character moves really quickly. Um, it's basically almost like auto sprint. Um, basically, like, there's no, like stamina to slow you down like you can just run it's just freaking awesome and uh you can basically scale any wall um so yeah in that sense it really gives me that zelda breath of the wild feel of just like opening up the world even more than most games do um so yeah totally having a lot of fun with that so far um another game that i'm really really stoked to get into and this one i am like i'm having to prep myself for because Legit, if you guys haven't heard reviews on this game, you need to because from what people are saying, Nier Automata is like literally just one of the most riveting, incredible experiences, like unique and just the masterpiece that you will miss out on. And I haven't played it. I can't verify that for myself, but people who love the kinds of games that I love all love this game. 
and it sounds like it's really really special so i am really freaking looking forward to this one um yeah it's every time that i look at it it's hard to not just like go throw it in right away and start but i really want to be able to like dive in and give a lot of time to it uh, another game that i picked up it always just kind of looked interesting to me it was vampire so i love vampire stuff um the reviews have been kind of like mixed leaning towards good on this like it sounds like there are some problems with the pacing and maybe the story stuff but i just love the setting um and i like vampire stuff i haven't played it yet obviously but i'm excited to just give it a try and see what's going on um tail end here not ps4 related but i've also been trying my hand at fallout new vegas and having a lot of fun doing that too it's really cool getting to see the games that came before fallout 4 which was where i kind of jumped in Anyways, guys, just thought I'd really quickly show you what's on my to-play list. I have a lot of games <laughs> that I need to get to. So uh, that's a great problem to have. Um, keep on looking up more games that I would like to get as well, but I'm holding back. Um, I would maybe like to try Dragon Quest XI. I may wait for the Switch version. All right, guys, hope you're having a good one. Peace out.